Kyle died last night. I spent the night in an abandoned gas station. I've somehow lost my weapon along the way, so I've been ducking out of the sight of these rotters. And now, I'm going to gather supplies. <laughs> Looks like someone barricaded the door. This thing is too heavy for me to push. I need to look for something to like move this thing. Let's see here. Finally, this is all I wanted. And what do you think you're doing? Oh, dude, I just wanted some pop. You spilled. What is your problem? Can you stop pointing that thing at me? If you were thinking about raiding our place and taking everything and killing us, you better think again, because we have weapons. Military grade. Derek, stop messing with the boy. I mean, for gosh sakes, he's using a pair of scissors to defend himself. I am just trying to keep us safe. Well, I'm sure he didn't mean any harm. Did you now? Uh, no. I was just going to gather a few supplies and bring it back to my cabin. Oh. A cabin? Well, yeah. Not really mine, you know. I just settled there when all of this broke loose. How about we make a deal? We will give you all of our supplies in exchange for you letting us stay at your cabin until we need to leave. What? May I just remind you that we have just met this guy. For all we know, he could be a flesh eater or serial killer. Now let me suggest that I should do all the decision making before you get us killed. You can stay. I will go. I'm sick of staying here, being in one place for a long time, and you're bound to be dead meat. I can't just leave you with this kid all by yourself. Guess I'll have to go too. Um, don't mean to interrupt, but I'm right here. I am not a kid. I'm pretty sure I'm the same age as you, and I'm not a serial killer. I'm just like you guys, and I'm trying to outlast this infection. And I am in favor of this deal. So are you guys in or not? Of course we are. Now let's pack this stuff and get on the road. Oh, wow. Did you kill this little piggy with your pair of scissors? Uh, yeah, I did. Huh. Impressive. Hey, I can do that too. 
do what? Kill one of those things with the pair of scissors. Wow, what an amazing achievement. Do you want a cookie for that accomplishment? <laughs> okay, let's get going. Wait, so how far is this cabin of yours? Um, just a few more miles away. A few more miles? Okay, I think we should stop and take a break. So, you must really like Pop, huh? Why do you say that? Why don't you check your cart that you brought? What? Oh. Yeah, you know, my mom never really let me drink Pop. She said it was bad for my health. So your mommy never let you drink pop? Well, when you say it like that, it sounds stupid. So, um, how long have you two been dating? We're not dating. Yeah, we're just childhood friends. You know, grew up on the same block together, known each other since forever. Yeah. Oh. So where'd you get those pretty hardcore machine guns? His dad works in the military. We went downstairs and snagged some weapons from the basement. Oh. Well, too bad it's practically useless. What? Uh, they're not useless. Our guns are fully loaded, you know. Oh, uh, that's not what I meant. I meant that when you fire it makes a lot of noise, and it attracts all the rotters, so it's basically a death trap. You call those things rotters? Yeah, I mean, have you smelt one lately? They pretty much reek. Ew. Hey, what's wrong? I stepped in this... Blood! That's so gross. Its head is chopped open. Gross. Anyway, you check this ambulance for any emergency aid kits, and I'll check that police car over there for some weapons. Got it. What did you do? That came from nearby. We need to save them. Leave your stuff here. Wait, Vic, what are you doing? It's not safe. You might get killed. Derek, in case you haven't noticed, nothing is safe anymore. Now are you just gonna stand there or are you gonna come help? Well, I guess I'm staying here. No point in saving lives to people that don't matter. <laughs> Follow me. Hurry, they're coming. All right, grab the carts and everything. We need to rush into the forest. Whoa, what? Why? The gunshots triggered the and now they're all coming down this road. We need to get out of the way. Well, great. Now what are we going to do? We can't go back onto the road because we'll get killed. And we can't stay in the forest because we'll get eaten in our sleep. Thanks to you two for firing gunshots and saving these strangers. Whoa, man, what's your problem? If that was you, almost about to get eaten on the road, we would have saved you too. It doesn't even matter, because we're dead either way, if we go back onto the road or if we stay in this forest. Actually, 
there might be a way that we can stay in the forest without any worries. What do you mean? Well, do you guys happen to have any rope in your cart full of supplies? Yeah, we do. So why exactly did you tie all of our pots and pans to these trees? Well, see, when those things run into the rope, then all the pots and pans will clang and we'll be woken up. So they'll get stuck at the rope and the pots and pans will continue to clang and that'll wake us up before we get eaten. Huh. Smart girl. All right, well, let's get some rest. We'll head off back to the cabin in the morning. You won't mind if I lay here next to you, do you? Huh? Oh, no. It's all right. I don't mind. Everybody, it's LPS Piggies, and you're watching Meet the Dead. You just watched episode two of Dead Meat. How'd you like it? Today we have a special guest. New to the show, we have our character Vicky. Hi, Vicky. How are you today? Nice to meet you. Thanks for asking. I am doing great. All right. Can you explain your character's role to us? All right. So, in the episode. Um, Vicky is a hardcore girl. She knows what she's doing. She can operate any type of weapon, you know? She's just, it's like she wasn't meant for this. So we know that Derek was not in favor of you two saving those girls. So can you explain to us why that was? So, Derek is all about saving himself. You know, um, he's about saving him and Vicky. And in the end of everything, it's always just going to be about saving himself because he values his own life very much and he puts himself before others. Huh, interesting. Now we're going to show our zombie model. Hi guys, Kali Pops here. And instead of showing you just our zombie model, I'm going to show you that and one of our sets for this week's episode. So here, shown earlier in the episode, we have our roadkill. Here you can see the blood pouring out of the head, and of course, its head was chopped open, and you can see the flesh and stuff spilling from that. If you can't tell what type of LPS that is, it is an anteater, an LPS anteater. So as you can see, the flesh is just really uh, messy and gross and boily. Here's how it looks from the front. You can see the flesh tearing apart. And it's really gross. It just looks like someone took an ax and chopped that rotter's head down the middle. And here's our view from the side. Still very, very gross. And as you can see, the snout is kind of ripped open so you can see the bone. Now moving on to the scenery. We have the blood spilling from the ambulance truck. And then here we just have the police car. And it looked like the police car has hit a rotter and the rotter's flesh stuck to the front of the vehicle. Wow, that was an amazing scenery, but yikes, I'd be scared if I was actually there. So, Vicky, what was your character and Derek's character doing at that little shop at the beginning of the episode? Okay, so when everything broke loose, our characters fleed to that store, aware that there was going to be supplies there for them to last their while. So, you know, they, um closed the doors shut, they put something in front of the doors so no one could get through, and they just spent a few days there. Tell us about the two girls you saved. What were their names? Um, basically, 
Audrelin is the smart one. Her character is the smart character. Um, she's the brown short hair cat that makes up that contraption on how they can um, sleep safely and soundly in the forest. And her friend, the orange short hair cat, is Kira. Cool. To wrap things up, we have a behind the scenes clip from Collie Pops. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, and leave a thumbs up. Thanks, Vicky, for being on the show. No problem. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. Make a wish.